Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about scapula of ox. First of all, we should know either its right or left scapula. For this, we should know that the area that has less ratio on the lateral side is cranial one and the area that has more ratio on the lateral side is caudal one. By putting it parallel to our arms, we should know either its right or left scapula. Now we are coming towards the characteristics of lateral side. It has sinus spine. This is tuber spinae. This is acromion. So cranial to the spine is supraspinous fossa and caudal to the spine is infraspinous fossa. Its nutrient foramen is a bit distant from spine. This is glenoid cavity. Cranial to the glenoid cavity is supraglenoid tubercle and caudal to it is infraglenoid tubercle. Medial to the supraglenoid tubercle is coracoid process. Now we are coming towards characteristics of medial surface. The rough surface is called fascia serrata and the hollow surface is called subscapular fossa. This is the dorsal border that is the most thickest one. This is the cranial border that is convex one and this is the caudal border that is concave one. Dorsal border has a cartilage attached named scapular cartilage and the medial side of this cartilage is attached a muscle named rhomboidus muscle. Supraspinatus muscle is attached at supraspinous fossa and infraspinatus muscle is attached at infraspinous fossa. Serratus ventralis muscle is attached at fascia serrata and subscapular muscle is attached at subscapular fossa. The constricted part is called neck and the notch at the cranium is called scapular notch. 